Did you know that Rockstar Games created a real-life Grand Theft Auto V supercar? And you can actually buy it. That's right. So I'm sure many of you guys didn't know this, but Rockstar actually recreated one of their most famous cars from the GTA franchise and made one version available in real life as a part of a really cool giveaway. And that car was the Bravado Banshee. Rockstar says it is the symbol of ultimate American sports cars, and they actually created a real life version of it, which is pretty insane. Now, Rockstar describes this is a one-of-a-kind supercar worthy of representing the Banshee's heritage and a tribute to some of the deep customization options you'll find in the LSC in GTA V. Now, this was a part of a promotion for Grand Theft Auto V as a result of one of GameStop's like pre-order giveaway things. Basically, if you pre-ordered Grand Theft Auto V at GameStop, you actually had a chance to win this car, which is pretty crazy. So let's take a look at some of the photos right now. I'm sure you guys are very interested, and it's pretty awesome. So look at the beautiful stylings of this car. You can see it's blue with that bold white racing stripe going down the center. It has the Bravado Banshee logo all over it. The interior even looks like the Bravado Banshee, which is really awesome. Uh, you have Banshee stitched onto the seats, the Banshee logo on there as well. This is a really heavily modified vehicle, which is kind of awesome. So let's figure out what Rockstar did and how they ended up creating this. So what Rockstar did is they actually bought a 2006 Dodge Viper. Now this Viper was already pretty souped up. It was the SRT 10 model, which comes stock with a 8.3 liter V10 engine. Needless to say, that thing has some serious firepower behind it. But what they did is they brought this car to West Coast Customs, which I'm sure you guys know if you've seen the TV show West Coast Customs. They take normal vehicles and they super modify them. And what Rockstar did at West Coast Customs is they made the vehicle look like the Grand Theft Auto V version with all the upgrades, all the mods, and everything like that. Now, obviously, this giveaway has come and gone. This happened three years ago. In fact, Rockstar made that original Newswire post on September 13th, 2013. So really about almost over four years, going on to five years sometime soon. So the giveaway has come and gone. Well, what actually happened to this one out of one vehicle? Where did it go? Who ended up winning it? Well, what's kind of funny is a grandmother won it, which is really funny. So the car's value is set to be at over $200,000 as Rockstar spent $200,000 on just the modifications alone. And when they bought the vehicle, it cost them around fifty to sixty thousand dollars so i will leave links to some of the articles in the description but yes a grandmother actually won this vehicle which is pretty insane so she wasn't the one that went out and pre-ordered gta 5 it was actually one of her sons that ended up getting it and because he paid with her credit card she ended up becoming the winner well what happened to this vehicle does she still own it and the answer to that is no she put the car on eBay. She actually did the, the very uh, responsible adult thing. She didn't really have a need for a, you know, supercar. So she ended up just wanting to get rid of it so that she could, you know, keep the money for her son's college fund, which is obviously a very responsible thing to do. But what has happened to the car now? Well, when she posted the listing on eBay, she wanted $170,000 for it. For this car, that is a ton of money. But keep in mind, it is a one of a kind. It is the one and only GTA 5 Bravado Banshee by Rockstar Games and modified by West Coast Customs. So, what happened to this vehicle? Was it actually sold at $170,000? The answer is no. No one ended up buying the vehicle for that price because even though it was an exclusive, that is a ton of money to throw around on a vehicle. And it's even more money to throw around on a vehicle when you think about how old the car is, a 2006 Viper. I mean, that's 12 years old now, so that's getting kind of aged. So no one wanted to buy this vehicle at $170,000. That's a lot of money. However, the user, or the owner, I should say, ended up putting the car back on eBay, and this time they started the bidding at a much lower price. So they started the bidding at $45,000, which is well below the value of what the actual car is. And then 22 bids later, it ended up being sold on March 8th, 
2015, so almost two years ago today, for $80,000. That is a ton of money. So really, really cool stuff right there. Rockstar Games have created one car. Like, if you were to consider Rockstar a car manufacturer in real life, they've got one vehicle. It's a supercar. It is a super modified Viper, and it sold for $80,000. We complain about the car prices in GTA 5, yet they're selling real life GTA cars for over 80 grand. So, that's really cool. And like I said, this is a perfectly normal car. I mean, it comes with like air conditioning, cruise control, power locks, power windows. It has Bluetooth, iPod options, a CD player. Like it's a normal vehicle. It's just been completely recreated in the GTA 5 Bravado Banshee version. So I thought this was incredibly cool. And that's something you might not have known about GTA 5 in Rockstar Games is that they have actually created a supercar, only one, and they sold it to a grandma who ended up selling it. So it's somewhere out in the world. Someone has this vehicle. Just the, the details on the buyer itself were never actually revealed. But anyways, I thought this was very interesting and super cool. Let me know in the comments, would you like Rockstar to do more of this? Would you like them to create more types of their GTA 5 vehicles in real life? Like, imagine them buying like a Lamborghini and making it a Pegasi, or a Ferrari and making it Grati, or a McLaren and making it Progen. That would be so cool. It would also be very expensive, and since Rockstar doesn't have another GTA game to hype up, I doubt they will be doing it, but who knows? Maybe in the next game, GTA 6, they'll do the same thing. That would be so awesome. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Let me know if you thought this was cool in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.